Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Okay. Uh, so I have somebody that may be coming towards you with some type of offer. Um, maybe someone wants to have a friendship with you. Oh, we got the Queen of Pentacles reverse coming out again. <laughs> This woman has had a lot to say. You may have somebody come in towards you with some type of offer. I don't know what this offer has to do with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and look into it. But we got a queen of pentacles that's still holding on to something, refusing to let something go that belongs to a queen of swords. Or, yeah, she's holding on to something that belongs to a queen of swords. Um, there's something where a queen of pentacles has been telling a lot of lies. Uh, I don't know if this is someone who's somebody who's a wife energy, a mother energy. The fact that she's in the reverse means that she does not exemplify the characteristics of the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, right? So this is someone that may not even be nurturing to their own kind, may not like their 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 seeds and things like that. Someone may not be as business savvy as they put themselves out to be. Someone could be very greedy, uh, financially motivated for everything it is that they do. Uh, they're trying to keep a queen, a source from doing something, uh, having some type of success, um, and things like that. Uh, they're trying to keep a queen, a source from giving some type of offer in a, I don't know if it's like, it's like a queen of swords in a community may see you as someone that's very genuine, very loving, a good friend and things like that. And this queen of pentacles reverse is trying to keep this queen of swords from coming towards you. This person is very worried that people want to come towards you and balance something out. This queen of swords, I think she is realizing that she may have made some type of decision that caused you some type of disadvantage. It caused you problems, okay? There's some type of manipulation that was done um, in a community um, and it led to you either losing something or something caused you a big problem. And maybe people were not aware of what it is that uh, was really taking place because this woman had been in this institution for a long time. And I don't know if this is somebody um, that has a very high position. And I've been picking up on institution and family. So that's why I keep using that word institution and things like that. Um, so I don't know if this person has a very high, <clears throat> high rank within an institution or something like that. And maybe she told people something about you that was not true, or maybe something was supposed to be given to you and there was some type of manipulation done so that you wouldn't receive it. But people are people may be realizing that the decision they made uh, to have something not be given to you to cause some type of illusion and things like that uh, caused you quite a big problem or it left you at a disadvantage it caused you a lot of losses and things like that um so you have a family that's been working really hard to just cause a lot of illusions to invade your privacy make you feel uncomfortable uh some type of extra projection so there could be some type of magic going on as well uh so whatever this queen of pentacles has been up to is something that's definitely maybe going to start backfiring or it's already backfiring is that people seeing the situation for what it is? And maybe there could be some type of argument going on behind the scenes for her to stop doing something or uh, something to be like go. But this queen of pentacles, I, I don't think people understand quite how malicious somebody is. And they don't intend on stopping something. And I feel like it's going to get to a point where it's like this woman is going to be losing everything, everyone. No one's going to want to have anything to do with her. This is like somebody being let go from either an institution or a position or a family. And, and like they're so like stubborn. It's like to the point where she said, okay, forget you all. I can do it on myself. I can do, do things by myself. I'm still going to keep doing this. Uh, and something is just not going to go the way she thinks. Like someone is very like... I don't know who's trying to negotiate because I've been hearing the word negotiations. I don't know who's trying to negotiate with this woman. You're negotiating with someone that's death, basically. Okay? You're going up creek without a pedal. Without a pedal. So you ain't getting nowhere. And that's how it's going to be. It's not going to change. It is not going to change. Uh, a queen of this queen of pentacles, there's something about she may end up being single. Somebody's about to get divorced or something. Um, because I don't know if this is something that she holds over other people that she's married to somebody wealthy or whatever this is. Um, but someone is about to lose everything and this is karma playing out. And this karma is going to play out so naturally it won't even make sense. 
It, it, it will seem really supernatural the way something is about to happen to a queen of pentacles. But I think people are starting to see a situation for what it is. It says someone is just doing something out of malice. It's not because a light worker did anything to them. It's not because a light worker said anything out of the norm about them. It's kind of like us or someone hearing, oh, you, she said this about you or she said this about me. But it's like what they said about you was the truth. Um, and sometimes we have a hard time with accepting the truth about ourselves. So that is why it is important to know that self. Sometimes people say things about you. It can just be out of spite and you need to learn how to just dismiss that and move on. And sometimes people will say things and you kind of have to think about it. Say, do I do that? Is it true? Yes. If it is, then go within and try to take a di different direction and change or something like that. It's something that we all go through. It's not something that's foreign or just limited to a select group of people. We all have flaws and things like that. But whoever I'm picking up on is going to pentacles reverse. This is not somebody that wants to know uh, what it is that's wrong with her. <coughs> Doesn't want to take accountability for anything whatsoever. There's, uh, there's some type of Ten of Pentacles that's about to be... Uh, man, it, I'm not even going to get into that. Let me just keep on moving on. Um, There could be some type of... Like, what I'm picking up on is somebody could be trying to send you some type of communication. But be mindful... Be very mindful. Be very, very mindful. Okay? Uh, this Queen of Pentacles is trying to force some type of success for herself. She is trying to make sure that something goes in her favor. Okay? Uh, so, I don't know what it is that she's about to do. She may be trying to send you some type of communication that she wants to reconcile with you. She wants to heal things with you. Doesn't want to fight anymore. Whatever this is. I don't know the fact that she's still showing up in the reverse and she's still trying to keep somebody from coming towards you. I don't get a genuine intention behind it. I feel like it's, there's some type of material motive. Like anything somebody does, there's an interior arterial motive behind it. This could be someone that's trying to tend towards you, trying to have something done to you. I've been picking up something about kidnapping and things like that, uh, uh, taking somebody and doing them something. Just be very cautious. If you know who this energy is, do not be like just happy to go and be around them. There's something very dark this woman is planning. She's still up to something behind the scenes. So just be very cautious about it, okay? <clears throat> I've been picking up on some type of, I don't know if there's like a reunion or <clears throat> what is it? You know how like companies have their anniversaries or families, families have their reunions and things like that. Or there could be like a wedding going on. It could be something where it's like they invite you, but you're not welcome. So be very cautious of that. I, I wouldn't attend something like this because these, this is something where it's like a group of people are going to be there that have been trying to destroy you, have been trying to end you, take you out, been fighting and things like that on what actions and stuff like that to take against you. Uh, you the star see. So if they invite you to this uh, 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 event, thread with caution. It may be something where you politely turn them down. Just turn them down. Because I, I feel like there's something malicious. It's like somewhere you go, you end up drinking something and you disappear. Uh, you go and people end up doing you something. You end up in the hospital. Uh, there's something malicious, something very dark. It's something very dark. Okay, something very dark. So be very cautious. Whatever message this woman is trying to send you... Whatever. I don't know what this is. It's very dark. There could be something here about a wealthy woman and a child or something. Some type of decision being made when it comes to this. I don't really like talking about kids on my channel, but I'm going to leave that there. There's some type of decision that's being made on that or it's going to be made. Um. Yeah, I was right. Four of Pentacles to so the fourth one to so the Judgment. She's trying to keep some type of relationship from taking place. But the spirit realm has made some type of decision to. This, uh, this relationship or this 
abundance, this four of wands, this coming together, this merriment, bounty, whatever this is. This is some type of judgment called by the spirit realm. So this is not something where it's like, it's something being forced. There could also be like a, a company having some type of realization about a situation, why something has been happening. You could have a queen of cups, I mean, queen of swords. It's so much going on. It's ridiculous. It's a queen of swords. She may be, like, I don't know if there are two different queen of swords. There could be one that's communicating some type of lie, some type of anger, that she wants to communicate something either to you or somebody. She's very angry. Someone's very, like, I don't know who this woman is in this scenario, but she's very angry about something. She's very worried about a family. I don't know, doing something, like giving you some type of resource, balancing something out for you, a couple balancing something out for you. I don't know what this is. It's a lot of worries about you receiving something, something being balanced out for you. Because whatever was done was done out of malice. It was done out of malice. Everything that was done was done out of malice. Yeah, it was done out of malice. Trying to stop a stop a promotion. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me. They're trying to stop a promotion, an investment. Uh, stop you from progressing. Something like that. Everything was done out of malice. I don't like I don't understand why people invest this kind of time into other people's lives. Like why? This may have had something with some type of job position, a promotion within the company, some type of financial payout. But there's a whole family, like an institution in reverse that's doing some type of manipulation behind the scenes. It's a whole lot going on. I, I don't know what this is. It's, it's just been like the same energy is coming out for months. Just doing too much. Going to a tower. We got the tower out here. Oh my gosh. But whatever it is, though, the reason why these people have been doing something is strictly out of malice. It's like, let's say, for example, something was supposed to come to you. They didn't want you to have it. They wanted one of their kind to have it. One of, one of the people in this institution, they wanted them to have it. So there's some type of fraudulent activity that may have taken place for it to be given to them. Uh, if, like, a wealthy man or someone left you something, uh... They didn't want you to have it. They say you're not part of the family. Nobody knows who you are. He didn't know you that long or he didn't know you at all. But he put you in their will for something, right? I'm just using that as an example. He put you in their will for a reason. Maybe you made a change in this person's life. Uh, whatever this is. Maybe a position was left to you for a reason. Maybe somebody wants to partner up with you for a reason. Okay? For a reason. And they don't care what the reason is. It just feels like they, they've deemed you unfit for it. But it's out of jealousy and angry. And, I mean, anger. They're angry. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're angry. And they're angry. Man, man, man. This energy. Oh, my gosh. More like these energies. These people are angry because you're still balanced. You're still healed. You're still hopeful. I mentioned something like that in my previous read. Somebody's angry. Like they want to send you some type of communication to get a reaction out of you. To get you angry and things like that. But they said no matter what they do, <laughs> you're not angry. You're not bothered. You're not, you know, anxious or nothing like that. You're, listen, listen here. You're still good. You're still content. And there's some type of uh, a realization going on about this too. It's like no matter what manipulation they do, what kind of magic they do, interferences they do, you are still in that strength to the star card energy. 
So you're still modest, you're still calm, you're still balanced, still heal, hopeful, pouring into yourself, your your family, your environment, and things like that. You're still seeing life. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're still out here hopeful, working hard towards your goal, on your path, and things like that. Still connecting with source, still healing and taking action. So they don't. That's what they don't want for you. So it's that whatever kind of magic they're doing, projections and things like that, manipulations, it's not working. It may be causing them more problems than it's causing you. You may even have people walking away because the, it says something is not going like they wanted to. You know, it says somebody, somebody trying to cause problems in your life, taking reckless actions and things like that. You're st they're trying to destroy you. They're trying to do things to get a reaction out of you to basically disturb your peace. But it's like no matter what they do, it's not working. You're still taking action to either defend yourself, heal yourself, recover, stay calm, and things like that. And it's a problem. Like, it's like no matter what they do, this is you. So it's that what can we do to, dis to disturb this person's peace? And it's like, um, I guess nothing at this point. You can't bully somebody. It's not going to stop them from... You can bully people all you want, but I don't mean that that's going to stop them from doing what they're supposed to do by means of the spirit realm. Yeah. You can bully all you want. You got time. That's on you. If that's what you have time to do is to be out here bullying people and things like that, go ahead and do that. There's somebody that... Uh, uh, never, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Not saying that. Not saying that. I had to change up the setting of my uh set because I feel like there are people that watch me and they watch these reads and there's somebody there they have that's watching this and giving them some type of inside scope to do things so and i don't want to elaborate on that so that's why i changed the set uh, the setting of my tarot setup so that people don't see my cars fully it's kind of like a protection because i think there are people there may be like a couple of people in this institution that maybe they're trying to do the right thing so if I like have my spread out like I used to where people can see like exactly what the spread says and shows and things like that, they can take it to another practitioner, uh, maybe to tell them what I'm not saying, what I'm trying to hide and things like that. So I don't want that happening for protection of the people in these situations that need protection. So I'm not going to be showing my full spread. Like I think you, you all can see from here, here, that's all you need to see. <laughs> That's all you need to see. Because <laughs> I think this something is relatable to a community. Maybe we just don't know the community. We don't know who these people are. But I think it's something is happening in current energy. And people do need to be protected. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Something will be balanced out. Oh, man. Mm. You may have people that are living in regret that maybe they didn't partner up with you. They didn't listen to their intuition. They didn't see something for what it was. It's like they allow one person to put them on the wrong path when it comes to you. It's something like that. Uh, you could have a group of people even crying because I don't know, like, is that what they partook in? But there are people within that group that still don't care. So there's something where it's like it's remorse in some people. And then some people just don't care. Um, those are people you just going to have to pray for. And pray that Jesus Christ comes down from the sky and touch them. Because I feel like there are people here that pretend to be religious. Um, and religion, is if, if <laughs> that's not something you want to be out here pretending. It can backfire real horribly. And I feel like it's going to backfire on somebody. I'm picking up that this Queen of Pentacles may not be as religious as she puts herself out there. Like someone fix their religion okay uh let me go ahead and do our recap it's a lot of like you know like there's a there's a like some type of back-to-back -to -back tower that's about to happen or is happening to a community 
or to somebody. Um, and this is happening so that some type of balance or attunement can start taking place in a situation because something has gone way too far. There's this queen of pentacles that has been doing whatever this is for a long time. Even she at this point knows that something has gone too far. She took something too far. But her ego, that narcissism in her is what's stopping her from letting go of something. She's still trying to keep some two people from coming together, keep trying to keep someone from expanding, trying to keep someone from growing. You got a queen of swords in here somewhere too that wants to communicate something to you. It's very angry that you are still healed. You're still calm. You're still collect. They are doing quite a lot behind the scenes, like I said, to disturb your peace. But it's like whatever it is they're doing to disturb your peace is not working. Because you see the situation for what it is. If you are in this energy here, you see things for what they are. It's that when somebody does something, you know exactly why they're doing it. Okay? Uh, it, you may not even say something to let them know uh, right away. But at some point, you say something and they realize, okay, so what now? What do we do? They know exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it. It's not having any effect on them. So why do we keep doing this? Right? Someone may be getting frustrated and say, it's not fair. This person knows exactly what we're doing, when we're going to do it, and things like that. It could be that they're coming after someone who is, like, gifted. They don't have to do work on social media, but it's like they're gifted. So maybe they see these people coming a mile away. They may not say nothing, may not do nothing, but it's like, oh, yeah, I saw, I saw that, like, two weeks ago. I saw you coming, so it, it is what it is. Do whatever you, you want to do. Um, because I do see the magician out here, it's a lot of manipulation. Just like just a lot of man we, we got the devil, the manipulate the, the excuse me, the magician, the tower. It's a lot of freaking like in interventions taking place, dark and light. So you got the dark community doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to get something to go in your favor. Many two people don't come together. You don't receive your abundance. Your 10 of pentacles does not happen. Nobody gives to you. You don't have any resources and things like that. But then you have the tower and the judgment out here with the magician, ace of cups, which means that the universe and then the star, the strength, the universe ain't having that. They've already made a decision that things are going in your favor. You need to stay calm, stay modest, keep your mind on positive things and, and, and of that nature. I don't know, like, I don't know what how this woman thought something was going to turn out. It's that you keep paying people because this is what I've been picking up on. When she wants something to go in her favor, all she has to do is pull out money. You keep paying people to do all of this, to, to, to bully somebody. To manipulate other people about somebody you're bullying. To have someone isolated. Uh, ostracize somebody. It's not working. Why do you keep doing it? It's like somebody putting their hand on a hot stove. It burns. You tell them to take it off. They take it off. I, obviously, they're going to take it off the first time, right? They touch the hot stove. It burns. They take, ooh, ouch, ouch. It burns. What this woman is basically doing is repeatedly putting her hand on the hot stove. As you go, right, that wound, the first time you put your hand on that hot stove, your hand will get hot. It'll burn. Okay, it's a quick thing. You touch it, it's hot, you leave it, right? But you keep doing it repeatedly. Obviously, you're going to form a blister there, and then it's going to turn into, uh, it's going to get red, start opening up, uh, turn into a really bad burn. Okay, what she's been doing is like refusing to let that wound heal because she keeps going back repeatedly. And it's like at this point, are you like immune to the fire or something? You're not immune to the fire. You've damaged your skin and you're in denial that you've damaged your skin. And other people are probably looking at you like, uh, what's wrong with this girl? Like she needs help. But it's like you, just, you keep going because you have a point to prove to people that you can touch fire. Who in who in the world wants to be able to touch fire? For what? For what? So it's something like that. It's a, it's something that's being done out of ego, out of malice, out of just I don't even know at this point. Because whoever this woman is, her energy is just uh, just exhausting. I think even she's tired of the things that she does. She's tired. 
but she don't know how to stop. She don't want to stop because she feels that she has a point to prove. Like somebody's trying to prove their authority. Someone's trying to prove their power. And I've said this before. <clears throat> People that have a thirst for power will never truly acquire power. When you have to use force and manipulation to have your way, it's not power. It's, it's typically, it's simply what it is, is you got to manipulate. You got to force things. That means people don't respect you naturally. People don't hold you in high honor naturally. People don't value what it is you say or do naturally because you don't have those qualities that a true leader has. So it's something like that. So it's that someone is desperate to prove their power, their authority, but they're doing it in regards to somebody that has nothing to do with them. Imagine not even being part of an institution and somebody is trying to prove their dominance over you. They're trying to prove their authority over you. And it's that people will probably start looking at you like, uh, this person is not even part of this institution. Why are you even coming after them? And that's because there's something she does not want to say. There's some type of secret. Why she's doing something. They did something behind the scenes to somebody they don't want out. It, it, it's like a lot of little bitty things started and then it just got a little bit too much. You started doing something for a specific reason. It got out of hand and then you just kept going. When you're supposed to stop, you don't want to stop. So whatever tower this is that's about to happen to these people, baby, come on. It's like, it, it don't even make no sense. I don't know if she's going through some type of realization that you're too strong because she's, she keeps saying like something like how do they keep going? Like there's something that's baffling her and it has to do with your strength, how you're still going. Why isn't something working? Like someone could be throwing a temper tantrum behind the scenes. I don't know if, the, if she throws like cheers, she throws papers or she yells, she screams, whatever it, she, it is that she does. Like someone is losing it behind the scenes. Why something is not working. You've overdone something. And at this point, there's nothing you can do to like fix that. You know, like you get carried away doing black magic, a lot of manipulation. And you've done it for so long. It's just like, okay, it don't matter if you do it today, tomorrow, whatever. It's like somebody's just going to look at you like, can we grow up? It's something like that. Can we grow up? So hopefully in the future, you can maybe start putting in effort to heal because you need some healing. I don't, if you're in a, a, a institution, I'm pretty sure they have resources for mental health counseling and things like that. You need to go and utilize some of those because the way you move says a lot more about you than it did. Than, 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 the way you move, the way you've been moving is saying a lot more about you then it is about this Queen of Cups that you're coming after. People know whoever you're coming after is a Queen of Cups. Even the gentleman that you're talking to about the Queen of Cups, trying to tell them that this Queen of Cups is this, this Queen of Cups is that, that man knows that Queen of Cups. He's not going to recant on that. Like he knows. I don't know who you're talking to about this Queen of Cups, but he, she, them, they, they know this person is a Queen of Cups. Baby, come on. I, I'm not going to lie to you, play with you. It's the Queen of Cups or the Ace of Swords. It don't get no more compassionate than that. It doesn't get any more loving than that. So, it's that what is the reason you're doing something? You know wholeheartedly that a King of king of whoever, I don't know if who, like a King of, king of Swords, whether it's a King of Swords, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King, uh, 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 king of Cups, whether it, whichever one it is you're talking to, every one of them know that this Queen of Cups is a Queen of Cups. So you're wasting, like, you got somebody out here showing up as the strength, the star, okay? Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. It don't get no much more compassionate than that. That's a strong Queen of Cups. <laughs> so I don't know what it is you think you're doing. You're wasting your time. There's nothing you're going to say. I don't know who this man is you're trying to convince not to see a Queen of Cups as a Queen of Cups. There's nothing you're going to say to this person for them to not see their Queen of Cups as a Queen of Cups. He knows 
And even you bring up the flaws of that Queen of Cups. He already knows the flaws of that Queen of Cups. It's not going to change anything. I'm telling you. These could be two people. Whoever the man is and the Queen of Cups. These could be two people that even telepathically communicate. Maybe even hang out in the, in the dream realm. The spirit realm. So these two are very much aware of each other. Okay, so it is that you going towards him to tell him, you know, that Queen of Cups is this. I heard she does this. I heard she did this. She says this about people and she does this to people. That man knows everything that woman does and does not do. And even if he done, he's going to listen to his intuition and say, yeah, I don't think so. But he's not going to tell you that. He's just gonna, I, If I was him, I'd just play along. And I'm pretty sure that's really what that brother is going to do. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, dang, I didn't know that. I might have to be mindful then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for looking out. That brother don't give two ass what it is you're saying. I'm trying to help you stop making a fool out of yourself. Because you're out here hopping from place to place, community to community, and you don't know how foolish you look doing that. You're paying this family not to support somebody. You're paying this institution not to work with this person. You paid that institution not to work with this person. You paid this masculine and don't fall in love with this person. Because I remember having a dream where a man was being paid not to give something to uh, 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 another person. So maybe it's in relation to this. You don't realize you're like a, you, you're playing the role of a foolish person. And that's what it looks like. And I know you do it from behind the scenes because that's what I picked up on you. It don't matter. All of those people see you as the same. Once they realize what it is you're doing, they see you as a clown. It's a wow, that's how that institution moves. Like, this is the leader of an institution. This is the, the leader of a family. This is the leader, the, the matriarch of a family. And this is how she moves. You want to tell me that's how they operate? I definitely do not want to be associated. Like, washing their hands off of you. I definitely do not want to be associated with them in any way, shape, or form. And there's something here about freedom of speech, too. You're trying to shut somebody's freedom of speech up like you don't want them talking you don't want them being them you don't want them being an individual but you yourself you are an individual everybody is an individual so how are you going to do that you want someone to go with the status quo now everybody's meant to go with the status quo what you're trying to do right now is equivalent to like because you're coming after an ascended master you don't understand spirituality like you think you do is what i picked up on you, you have very little understanding of spirituality, especially with the way you use it. You can know about all the Orishas, the, uh, the, 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 uh, um, the gods and goddesses and things like that, white energy to work with and things like that. It don't mean that you, you understand spirituality like you're supposed to. You could have been doing something for a long time, but it still does not mean that you know more about spirituality than somebody that started a year ago or something. You can you can know about all these gods and goddesses, these orishas and things like that, uh, all the, these mytho mythological uh, energies and things like that. But does that mean they're going to want to work with you when you summon them? No. You ever wonder why it's easier for energies like this to get what it is they want in the ethers uh, instead of energies like these? Because one is in the right energy and the other is in the energy that needs help. You tend to be in the second one. So the way you go about magic, you, you, want, to, you want to be seen as somebody that's magical. It's what I picked up on. You want to be seen as somebody that's magical. You're gifted. You're not magical. You're not gifted. It's what I picked up on. You're very dark. You manipulate a lot. That's not magic. It's just manipulation. Magic is being... You know, if, we're, if we're going to call it magic, being able to manifest, being able to do things naturally. Like, we all have these gifts and things within us, these abilities, but they're deactivated in a lot of people for a reason. Because you haven't done the work. You show up in the reverse a lot of the times. And if you don't show up in the reverse, the cars around you, let us know you're in the reverse. Your gifts are not activated for a reason because you haven't done the work to get to that part. And people don't understand how these gifts and things work. You don't just wake up and you have these gifts. You got to do the work. 
And, and you, the work is done through your incarnation. Every lifetime you incarnate and you do what you're supposed to do, you fulfill your contract. A gift is activated. So you're coming after an ascended master, which means this is someone with unlimited access to the rank to, to uh the cosmos, right? Think of this like as the White House. The secret services are people that have access to everything in the White House. They can go anywhere they want in the White House. Okay, so they have absolute uh clearance to do and go wherever they want right they're there for security protection and things like that they've done a lot of work to get to that stage right to be in the secret service and be able to go into white house they can tell people don't go in there nobody goes in there they can tell people you know leave they leave and things like that right they have authority to do that they've done the work to get there because you don't just wake up and you're a secret service personnel right okay you got to go through a lot of training you know, you need to learn how to get the president out of trouble when trouble is taking place. If you got to pick him up and throw him in the car for his protection, that's what you're going to do. You got to learn how to drive that car backwards and things like that. And when something happens, it's a, it's a lot of training and things like that that goes on. Long, long, long training. Okay. So it, the, the spirit realm is similar to that. You've gone you've incarnated many millions of lifetimes thousands of lifetimes and every lifetime you've done what you need to do you maybe had to repeat a few lifetimes to learn to see karmic lessons but you, eventually you do once you learn those lessons and you do the work a gift is activated in you so you're in the reverse whoever this is is in the upright meaning that they've done the work to have the gifts and things that they do so they have a level of clearance in the cosmos that you don't have, you're not going to have anytime soon. So you can pretend all you want to be gifted and magical, but the spirit realm knows who's gifted and magical because they know who they've activated and who they've deactivated and who they've never even touched because they say, okay, you're just in limbo right now. We're going to let you figure that out. You're not activated. And this is the crazy part. You, you come after people, but you don't realize sometimes the people you're coming after know more about you than you know about yourself and you even know about them. Your gifts are not activated. I picked up that picked that up on you like uh, a month ago. Your, you don't have any gifts. Your gifts are not activated. So you don't know thyself. If you knew thyself, you wouldn't be doing the things you're doing. Which is why you don't understand how you look. Getting in your car to go to another location, a company to give them money. Getting on your phone to call somebody to give them a gift. They don't realize the gift is a bribery. Getting people to sign their lives away, their free will away, their power away. You don't know how you look. You don't have spiritual clearance. Whoever you're coming after probably have gifts that you probably will be terrified of if you found out. Sometimes people like you, you come after people in this energy, they don't respond and you think it's because they're weak. This is an ascended master, remember. You think it's because they're weak. You think it's because they're feeble. They're naive. Uh, whatever. They don't know what it is you're doing. No, 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 no. It's a lot of these the people in these energies, they choose to kind of just be non-reactive because it's safer for everybody. So you don't got no gifts. You're coming after somebody with gifts and you don't understand why you are not able to temper with their energy. Maybe when somebody started a journey with you or you started coming after somebody, maybe they were in a page of cups energy. Maybe they didn't know who they were yet, uh, but now they do. And when you do everything you're doing, when you're coming after them, they kind of feel sorry for you. Because it's like they see you doing things from afar and they just say, oh man, I feel sorry for that person. I, I pray to never be that way. I pray to never treat people that way. I pray to never steal or take from anybody. It's something like that. So even if this person, you, you feel like you're powerful and things like that. Even if this person doesn't do anything to you, which they're capable of doing it to you. There are people in the world, all you got to do is close your eyes and go to sleep. You see them and you're done. You're never waking up again. And some of you don't understand. <laughs> like, there are practitioners out here. You fool with them long enough. All you gotta go, all you gotta do is go to sleep all night. You ain't gonna wake up again. But again, like I said, these kind of people, they choose to stay away from that. 
Some people only choose to uh, indulge in certain gifts of theirs, not all of it. Because it takes a lot of work to get to their magician, their uh, star seed energy. So you're out here throwing wrecking balls at somebody and they're like, okay, you know what? They're obviously not doing the work that they're supposed to be doing. They're not healed yet. So I'm just going to ignore this person. Uh, try to avoid their wrecking ball when they send it. I'll dodge, we'll play double dodge, I guess, with the wrecking ball and just act like I don't. You know, oh, we'll play dodgeball or something with the with the wrecking balls. Oop, miss me. Oop, miss me. But you think because they're dodging your wrecking balls, that means that they're too weak to fight back. It's not because they're too weak they're fight, to fight back, darling. They're helping you stay alive. <laughs> they're helping you. You, know, you do know that there are people that can, like, just literally astral project to you and you're done. <laughs> You do know that, right? <laughs> I'm just letting you know, ma'am. There are people that can literally just... Psh, hi, Linda. And that's it. And sit. Three words. Sometimes not even three. And you're done. But, but you've been doing magic longer, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You don't have any spiritual clearance, ma'am. Whoever you are. You don't have it. No type of spiritual clearance. No gifts activated in you. You've been having a tick from people. There's a reason why you are on that route. The route of stealing and ticking from people. Because you haven't done the work to be activated. We, we all have these gifts within us. But the reason some people have it and they can use it. Actively, it's because the spirit realm has activated the, those gifts in them because of their merit. Like I always say, like the, the universe or life, things you get things based on merit, excuse me. And it, it's the same in the spirit realm. You put in the work. Nobody is really just born an ascended master. You got to go through the work. You got to learn you got to deal with a lot of stuff, betrayal, heartache, uh, failures, a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot, a, lot, a lot of learning through errors and things like that. You don't just wake up as an ascendant master, but you want to be seen as an ascendant master. You want to have that genesis quiet about you, but you haven't done the. You're just filled with a lot of hate, a lot of hate possibly for yourself, but you project that onto other people. It's really sad and just, it's really sad. Your energy is just really sad. Just, I don't even know what to say. Like, your energy is really sad. You're about to lose everything because of your, I don't even know what the, your insecurities there. Your insecurities. You're about to lose everything because of that. It's that you. There's something where it's that you want. It's that your your thirst for power is just, it's it's insidious. You're 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 just so like like just broken. But like you broke yourself. You know how like people sometimes you meet them they have a story to tell. It's like it's not that their their, their stories they're, they're letting their their experience define who they are, but the way that they are has to do with why people with with the with the way people treated them or what people did to them. Okay, but your situation, you're the way you are because of you. I'm not hearing nothing about a rough childhood. I'm not hearing nothing about like a, 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 a abusive families or nothing like that. I, I'm not hearing none of that. What I'm hearing is just a woman that's insecure and entitled. Easily threatened by everybody else. Every other woman she meets. Feels that she's in competition with every woman she meets. Emasculates men and things like that. That, that, that's all I get from you. 
Nobody broke you. You broke yourself. And you've been allowed to be this way for I don't know how long. So that's all you know how to be. But how you are is very sad. Can't even take care of yourself. I don't know. Like, there's something where you're not multifaceted. You can have money, but you're not multifaceted. The way you got the money, there's something about it. If you, like, I don't know what it is. Like, if you lose everything you have now, you're not going to survive. You're not going to make it. Like, you're... I don't know if this is me talking sense into you because your ancestors are trying to warn you about what it is that's up ahead of you. You're not going to survive. Like it's like you leave the comfort of your home, the comfort of your community to go and cause problems for other people. Or you sit in your community just making calls, sending emails recklessly. You and that Queen of Swords just sending reckless communications to people. She does hers from behind the scenes. Like she, she wants to send some type of communication about how angry she is and this and that too. Like she wants to send some type of angry communication to somebody. They said, why are you all this way? You broke yourself. You ever heard like a broken rec record on repeat? It's like this is what you all do. You wake up every day. You do the same thing. We're going to go destroy this star sea. We're going to go trap this star sea. We're going to cause this star sea ending. We're going to stop this man from connecting to the star sea. We're going to stop this man from seeing this star sea in a positive light. We're going to tell him that she's this. She's useless. She's worthless. She's not reliable. She's not hardworking. She's not talented. She's not skilled. Uh, she's not knowledgeable. All kinds of stuff. Because... What I see is a lot of people coming after a Queen of Cups. And the whole time you're doing this, the Queen of Cups is, uh, it's like, oh, you know what? Let me focus on me. Let me focus on healing. Let me focus on uh, acquiring the, the, the knowledge that I need for where I'm going. So basically, they're not interacting with you. They're not participating. But relentlessly, you're still coming after the person. Like someone when they started with you started as a page of cups. Now they're like in uh in an ascendant master energy. You're still in the energy you were in when this person met you. So you've lost the battle. You're still in reverse. You're still angry. You're still bitter. You were like that before this person met you. So you've done everything to destroy this person, but instead of being able to destroy them, you've helped them <laughs> grow. You've helped them ascend through your wickedness. You thought being wicked to somebody will lead to them becoming bitter and angry just like you. There's some type of rite of ritual that you all put each other through. And a lot of you are angry because this Queen of Cups successfully made it through and you probably did worse to this queen of cups than any of you went through but at the end of the day the queen of cups don't want anything to do with you or don't want to be associated with you or so what was the reason for all of this what is this like a rite of passage this person don't want to be affiliated with you all you both you, you it's like two different two different worlds you know how this uh i forgot where, where this is where it said two two oceans they meet but they they don't mingle. I forgot where this is. That like you can see the split, the the line that separates them, because one I think one has salt and the other. There's some some type of chemical reaction that prevents these two oceans, these two body body of waters, from mingling and merging and becoming one. It's something like that. Someone does not want to be affiliated with you all. Don't want to be associated. Don't care what it is you have going on. Don't care how much money you got you don't have. What promises you can make. They don't care about any of that. But I, I want to tell you, you and somebody, you, you started off in a bitter and angry energy, a malice energy, spiteful energy, vengeful energy, right? And this person was in a page of cups, meaning they were still learning who they were. They weren't quite awakened yet. But 
they were going through their process. You saw somebody young, innocent, and you started feeding off of them, taking advantage off of them, coming after them, trying to destroy them and things like that, right? Through all of that, that person went from a page of cups to a magician, an ascendant master. You're still in the reverse, meaning you're still out here angry, bitter, spiteful, vengeful. So you lost the battle, but you're still out here paying money to keep losing the battle. Maybe you should try to see it that way. You've lost the battle. You, you think the battle is about material wealth. It's not about... The Queen of Cups, Magician, Page of Cups, start, they're never about material. You're doing something because of money. This Queen of Cups ain't worried about money. You can have the money for all they care. They've acquired something that you can never take from them. Self-mastery, gifts and things that you'll never have. So more than likely, this is somebody that can pay you a visit. And there's no practitioner you can go to that can stop this person from having access to you. So if they wanted to extra project to you and speak those three words, you're done. So what are you doing? You thought this battle was about money. Numbers. It's not. The whole time you've missed it. You, you've missed the whole purpose of the battle. You don't even realize you've lost and you're still paying people to keep losing. If I just paid this, you've already paid somebody's uh, parents. Is what I'm picking up on. You've already paid somebody's parents somebody families, friends, and everything just to turn on this person, reject them, man, woman, whoever it is. But you're still lost the battle, but you're still out here paying to lose the battle. They say, you know what? Let me write you enough, a $10,000 check. I lost the battle. Let me write you a $50,000 check. I lost the battle. Let me write you a, a $600,000 check. I lost the battle. Let me invest in your business, sir. Uh, so we can stop this person that I've already lost the battle to. You've lost the battle. You don't know you've lost the battle, but you keep thinking that you, if you keep going, that you're going to win. No, the battle has been over, darling. The battle has been over, and this is what happens when you don't know thyself. You are not one with thyself. You will be under some type of illusion where you think, if you keep being malice to somebody, if you keep destroying what it is they're building or their life or their security or this, you're sure to win. No, 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 no. You have a distortive uh, uh, conception about what victory is. Your victory has all to do with money. It, it, it doesn't have to do with that for this Queen of Cups, whoever I'm picking up on. And that's why, that's what you don't understand is that there are people around you, very select few people around you that I've picked up on. You don't realize that whatever it is you say to them, what you do when, in regards to this Queen of Cups, they know the truth about that Queen of Cups. So they may not tell you, maybe because you're high ranking in your society, even though you haven't done the work to be high ranking, you only know how to manipulate. They know the truth about that Queen of Cups. And so that Queen of Cups can go to bed at night and sleep very well. They are, yeah, people know the truth. They know who I am. You, you can tell this person about them. If they're like myself here, you can tell me anything you want about me. I know what's true and what's not. You're a biash. I probably am. <laughs> it ain't gonna hurt my feelings. You can, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Because I know, I know how I talk, so it it can come across as being a biash. So I'm not going to be oh no, no, no I'm not a biash. No, the way I talk sometimes, just so direct and raw with it, it can come across as being a biash. But that's who I am. I'm sure I'll have to fix that some days. But I, my spirit team haven't told me to fix it yet. So maybe that's the energy I need to be in at this time of my life until I get to the next stage. But you can tell me whatever you want about me and I can tell you what's, 
what you're on the money with and what you're way off with. Biatch, yes. Spiteful, nah. Bitter, nah. Angry, nah. <laughs> Stubborn, yes. <laughs> so I can tell you, you don't like to self-actualize. It pisses you off. You don't like people that self-actualize. You don't like people that speak positively. You don't like people that tuck sense into other people. Because what? Then it it, 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 it it enables people to see the truth about you. Because you pretend to be something you're not. So if people start self-actualizing and hearing the truth about what life really is about. How people really are supposed to be. You know they're going to see that you're a facade. That's why you don't want them to self-actualize around you. You try to keep people from self-actualizing. Is that when you, for you all that are watching, this is like people who, like in a company, you work under them. They don't want you thinking about what it is they're asking you to do if it's fraudulent. So they'll just uh, pile a lot of work on your desk to keep you busy so that you don't even have time to wonder, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why did she tell me to do this? Why did he tell me to do this? What is going to happen? It's that don't think about it. Just do what I told you to do. But it's that you do what, what they're telling you to do. Your license is underlined. Your name is underlined. Your reputation is underlined. But they're going to try to rush you through it. Hurry, 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 hurry. And then by the time you're done hurrying, you realize, oh, hey, Madame, Madame Davis, like you're in a lawsuit with Sally Mae Bickery. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't realize that she's been distracting you the whole time. It's, it's, this is kind of what this woman does. I don't know why I've been picking up on this woman's energy so specifically and intensely but there's somebody in a community that's about to lose everything people are about to be walking away from this woman trying to keep communications from coming to you and things like that it's just doing too much and it's because somebody does not know that self she pretends to be confident this isn't a confident woman this is the most insecure energy i've ever picked up on in my life and i've been my guests are like they've been active most of my my whole life basically i'm not gonna say most of my life my whole life what i've been is very discreet with it i'm not gonna tell you that hey yeah i can tell when you're lying <laughs> i can't i can't tell you everything i could do but this is the most dark energy i've ever picked up on this is like insidious you know like when you need like an exorcism that it, it's that level This is like the entity that they take out of people. You know that when they call the priest, that little Susie needs an exorcism, and little Susie calls him. I don't think I need an exorcism. She needs an exorcism. This is the entity, this queen of pentacles I'm picking up on. This is the entity that comes out of little Susie. And there's somebody around here, her, trying to negotiate with her. They don't realize they're negotiating with an entity. The, the, baby, you're going up creek without a paddle. You ain't going to negotiate with this entity. I don't know how else to tell you all that. You're still trying to work something out with a queen of pentacles in reverse. Queen of pentacles don't care. The one in your community, Queen of Pentacles reversing, she don't care. She's an entity. This woman got a lot of demonic entities attached to her. Actual, uh, hate, anger, lustful, okay, overindulgence, additions, and things like that. Somebody is faithless. What do they call it? Faithlessness? Don't got no faith. Maybe she pretends to be religious. Don't got none of those belief systems embedded in her. Don't care. She believes she's God. You know why she believes she's God? Because she has control over every one of you. And she can easily go and sign the check. And hey, voila. This is an entity. You can't negotiate with an entity. It's like the entity you talk to when you're at the crossroad trying to make a deal. This is what this woman symbolizes on earth. You know, like when you are going through hard times and you're desperate as heck. What's that magician, that guitar player that they allege that he sold his soul or something like that? 
he went to the crossroads. I always forget his name. And apparently he made a deal with Baba Yaga or something. And he became the best uh, guitar player in the world or something. But when you listen to his guitar playing, it's trash as heck. I'm like, what kind of, what kind of spell did they have on this, on these people? The thing that this man was a great guitar, guitarist. Um, he went to, allegedly, he went to the crossroads and made a deal with Baba Yaga because he was, was so poor. He wanted fame. He wanted to be the best guitar player. So that they, they made it happen. He went to see an entity. Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. This is this woman is the boogeyman. When people are it, she does hers very craftily. She she invades your privacy. She sees where it is you need help, where you're where you fall short, if it's your finances, if it's love job or whatever oh she she'll know before she approaches you it ain't no mistake before this woman comes to you she knows exactly what it is you need so if you have a struggling business she's coming in with the money for that business you're selling your soul but you don't know that so she's the one you meet at the crossroads she'll give you the money make it sound all good you know you say i, I have a million dollars to give you okay Yes, I, I really want to invest in your business and blah 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 blah. I think they may have even tried to invest in this in in whoever this man is as uh um uh, that's fond of this Queen of Cups. Maybe they invest that they give money to him or something so he could take some type of reckless action or uh, leave this Queen of Cups out in the cold. Anyways, she comes right when you need her. Give you the money, you don't know. That she's setting it up. You may even go to her and ask her for money. When you're at the crossroads, that means that you're a broke busted, disgusted, out to, about to be out in the streets and something. You go to her to ask her for help. Oh, she'll give you help. She'll give you the, she'll give you the money you want. But, that's that but. <laughs> and that's the but people don't never look into, i.e. the fine print. They don't never read the fine print. It comes at a cost, at a price. So this entity that you all are trying to negotiate with, you have never found to negotiate with this entity. You've been feeding this entity for decades. How do you, why do you want to stop feeding the entity now? You voluntarily give yourself to this entity. This is an entity. Queen of Pentacles reverse to the devil. Entity. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. This is an entity you are dealing with. This is an angry person, jealous person. Like all of the negative emotions you can think of is what this woman is. Entity. She's an entity. Very demonic and she's very happily demonic. Ain't never fun to see something from nobody else's side. She's incapable of doing Even if she wanted to, she couldn't. Incapable. If she told you that she, she if she told you, if she tells you that she understands that she she's just telling you that to shut you up. <laughs> oh my goodness. You you all don't understand. Oh Lord. This is an entity. But keep negotiating. <laughs> Tower to the seven of cups. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. And goodbye for now.